Aquí en esta parte tiene un orificio. It is the size of a two meter high refrigerator, but this contraption, developed by students and a professor at the Industrial University of Santander in Colombia, is supposed to feed four astronauts on a three year space mission. Esta parte es la de los microgreens, la de... In this part we have microgreens, in this compartment we have traditional crops, and in this part you can store. The university's investigative team that calls themselves AMBAR was one of the top 10 international finalists in the Deep Space Food Challenge hosted by NASA and the Canadian Space Agency. They competed against nearly 300 companies and research teams who were asked to find the greatest food solutions using minimal output and waste. We optimized the process of food making. We generated some waste, but we utilized it to the fullest. We also had a system of water purification and oxygen generation. Professor Rodriguez says this recognition has been years in the making. Five years ago, this public institution, the Industrial University of Santander, began supporting student research teams in rocketry and aerospace engineering. Students interested in space-related research at the university has grown from five students in 2016 to 60 in 2021. Professor Rodriguez says they came from across different departments. It is very satisfying to know that we can provide solutions to problems not only in space but on planet Earth and that we can contribute with even the smallest seed. And that is what the competition said they wanted, novel and innovative food technology that could offer viable solutions in both space and planet Earth. Feeding a rapidly growing population is no easy task. Professor Rodriguez says that is one of the key reasons why developing nations should invest in space exploration. We need to form people who can be highly trained in science and technology and that will help the development of the economy. For every dollar a country spends in space development, the country receives five or seven dollars back. NASA awarded the top 18 U.S. teams $25,000 each and formally recognized the top 10 international teams and invited all winners to phase two of the competition. But no matter, the AMBAR team is ready for the next phase to build the prototype and test it. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.